Hello, it's Rego, and today we're actually doing the Lego City Tall for the May, and I just cleaned it up so I can have like a little minifigs all over like this section and stuff, and it was just kind of a mess. But now it is. Did you clean. guys seriously? And yeah, so let's start this from the kind of frontish this Did area, you guys and then move to that. Me? We're back downtown. So the first thing, I'm not doing it like in like a row sort of thing, but so the first is, is the King Cross Station, which is from the Hogwarts Express set. And you can see that there are a lot of people waiting at the station. There's some people climbing up. Buzz Lightyear is using his, la his using his, not a laser, his little light bulb that blinks. And, and yeah, you can see because the train has already left the station on the um, wizard side, on Palmer Nine Three Quarters, there's no like person except for an owl and that this is a really cool set i'm very happy that they added they, ha they had this in the set but yeah and then behind that yeah, this is uh, this is supposed to be kind of my infinity war end game type thing so let's kind of go into a bit more of the details of this build or this good setup i guess not build really particularly but into the cabin america motorbike set the Canterbury Outrider tank set. What was your question, Paul? Means that he's charging at Cole Obsidian. Right there, and you can see that at the pizza place, there is a... Yeah, gonna... Okay, I moved the train station over there for a little bit, just so I can see, so I can see this stuff. So then, you can see there's a person coming out of the pizza shop, and he's kind of scared because there's a big, weird guy huh? on a motorcycle with fire and stuff. And you can see both the um, Pepe's Pizza and the your, other window, Peter Parker's out. window, have both of it knocked out. Uh, and then you can see that Iron Man is fighting one of the Outriders. And then you can see um, Dummy from the Poly Bag is using his little flamethrower to try to attempt. And you can see going up the build a bit, you can see on this balcony, Black Widow is fighting one of these Outriders. And going up even more a bit, you can see that the window has crashed out. Correct, put it here so it, look, it looks better that way. And you see the Outrider is trying to attack Peter Parker. Peter Parker, aka Spider Man, aka Iron Spider, is going to try to stop him. And you can see, like, you can see in the window, you can see the old Civil War suit. And you can also just see the stuff from the actual set. So it's pretty cool. I do like how you can see that through the window. That's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, thanks to my tour, myself for Iron Man being there. It's self hasn't really had that? much added, but up on the ceiling area, you can see that there is the two wizards, so you can see Doctor Strange and Ebony Ma, aka Squidward, ha are battling with their magic powers. I think this is a cool use of the space up here. And then the this, which I didn't use this plate this play feature in the display, I want Spider-Man to be in here. But yeah, then you can see that there is this TV guy who is fixing a wire or something, and a little toolbox. And you can see Vision is actually looking exactly safe up here, looking down at the rest of the battle because obviously he wants to keep his little stone in his head. But yeah, going back, well, the side actually doesn't really have anything different from the actual set. Just his, oh, actually, um, this guy is getting his news, and I actually want to open that. This guy was getting his newspaper, and then he. And sees the battle, and that's pretty cool. But yeah, then moving behind this, which some minifigs I noticed. So, oh, this is where some of the minifigs are right now, just on this yellow bookshelf. So yeah, going back over here and moving this back. So behind the Tank Sanctorum. You can see there's one this street, I think it's exactly main, no, main street's up there. This is Bridge Street, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Bridge Street. And you can see the, this red roof house from Lego Crater, which is actually a secret, very secret, special place. You can see it has a little area with ninja hideout, and you can see Zane walking in there. And that's because behind here is the secret base of the ninjas. You can see Sensei Wu, or Jor-El, this guy's a Sensei Wu. Dang it, the Sensei Wu is behind here, and you can see this set, and then some of the ninja, like Kai, and Kai, and Mia. And then and there's a movie guy, and then somebody standing up there. And actually, this is the Lego City High School, where you can see some min bunch of minifigs or students are walking around. There's a, the classrooms themselves are kind of empty right now because I don't know why they really are. But that's really all in this little Mason. tiny part. 
a tiny part, but this part. And as you can see, there's a rail going from the edge, from this, the tip of the table, all the way down to the edge of the white table. And that's from the track pack. Um, I think this is a, one of the haul videos or something, I don't know. My Lego, Golden Lego store for my birthday haul or something, I think it was called. And, yeah, so then, my, my favorite part of Lego City, which is the park. And this is a custom, not, everything in, like, this is not custom, this is not custom, this is not custom, but, like, this design, this setup, like, that, like that's an official set, that's an, like, stuff, like, most, like, most of the stuff in the Lego City is, like, an official Lego set, just put in the Lego City, and added, and I added, like, details, but this one is not, like, an actual Lego set, but, well, there's a lot of actual Lego sets in here, so you can see that there is Woody, he's practicing his music, his guitar, as you can see, and then there's actually, I made this holiday, it had this holiday train set, which I will probably review around Christmas time, and, yeah, you can see he... There's like little, the train, Christmas train, Sonic's racing across the table, which you can see over there. And yeah, there's actually two stalls. There's this little one, and then the one that's actually occupied in the set. And there's two ways. There's the Christmas. This is Christmas coffee, and this is um how to get regular coffee. And but yeah, so you can see someone playing fetch with their dog Bob is playing fetch with his dogs. You can see the band of Wild Tales band is. Um, playing for the people of Lego City. And there's actually a little, little nice little area. So um, Emmett has bought um, Lucy flowers, and that's pretty nice. And you see a pirate up here scouting out for um, um. This is actually not a pirate. This is like a soldier, like them um, English soldier or something. And he's actually looking out for pirates just to see. And he's actually a statue of Old Kirk Christensen, who is the creator of Lego, and he's kind of cute. But that kind of adds. Like the gold kind of wear, the gold sharpie's kind of wearing off. That kind of adds an effect. And you can see, um, I don't think I ever gave this guy a name, but this police guy from the My Lego Statue Heist stop motion, stop motion is guarding it. The thing is guarding it. And yeah, then there's a little hot dog stand right there, which is, pretty, which is one of the best poly bags ever. And yeah, you can see an old lady is a nice old lady is buying some Christmas coffee for her grandson, or Christmas hot cocoa. Yeah. Then there's this the police meeting of the police officers where they eat donuts and drink coffee and having a nice time at the table just discussing things. And then there's the coffee stand from Bean There Donut That Set, which I think I did review. And you can see she's ordering something, and then there's a person in there somewhere. And yeah, and actually behind this whole park setup is actually Bridge Street, and you can see kind of, so the Bridge Street kind of goes under the bridge a little bit, so you can kind of see that there's the graffitied wall from the Spider-Man Bridge Battle, and that kind of adds something, that's actually a nice little addition to add a bit more to the set, and there's just cars and bicycles racing, and actually the bridge is like the, one of the big parts of LEGO City, it's the second tallest thing behind the Daily Bugle, so... There's just some cars and taxis racing. I'm going across this taxi. Really, there's no one in it for right now. But yeah, you can see this bridge is my one of my the third favorite my third favorite Lego set ever. And you can see it's just very it's a very nice thing to put in Lego City. And you can see there's a um, bunch of Superman up here flying around. And you can see the feature which I have is just a regular flag at the moment. And like the web because originally in for the longest long time in my Lego City displays, how this worked was that. There was something, like, there was a secret thing up here in high, Lego City High School, and then it kind of, there was a zip line or something. That was pretty cool, but, yeah. As the setup changed, it kind of, kind of changed. But yeah, then there's the Walmart, or Brick Mart, as I'm not going to call it. You can see, there's just, I'm not going to really show inside all these buildings, but you can see just kind of some people shopping in there and stuff. And yeah, there's people shopping, but in one of those movies, like, outside of every... Walmart I've been to, almost every Walmart I've been to, or Brick Mart in this case, but we like Walmarts, there's been these like weird movie but rental things, actually inside a lot of the time, but obviously I'm going to have it outside, yeah, and there's like Wonder Woman and a bunch of people buying some stuff, actually Benny seems to be buying a um, toolbox, which is pretty cool, and there's the Unikitty Kitty from the show, or something, and yeah, behind Walmart, there is the street, continue with the Garter Bridge Street, 
and then there's a big space, and this actually has the um, biggest house in LEGO City, which is the Stephanie house from LEGO Friends. And you see, under the bridge, there's just some, like, stuff, like this set, which I have no idea what else to do with that thing. Which, is that a still scarecrow in it for my character's not motion? No. And you see, there's, like, the creed wall and stuff, but then there's this train thing, and then... Thing, and there's that, and I probably should push that in, this thing in. There we go. So that the bunny has a little area. And then you can use the door that can open. And yeah, there's just, there's a plane up here, um, flying um, above Lego City. And there's also a dragon as well. As in behind here, there's actually a custom abandoned building design. And this is actually supposed to be something from the game Stardew Valley, but yeah, you can see, very nice. I made it from Mom for Christmas, pretty nice. And she let me put it in Lego City, there's a neon top there for some reason. And yeah, then there's a tall thing by Lego City, and one of the most striking parts when you just look at it, as like just a skyline, is the, is the very tall, very awesome Daily Bugle, or DBC building. And you can see, it's a very nice little, it's a very nice little thing to add to like a city. You can see the windows. Dude, do you like the in Inferno there. rap? Like, 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 like Tina. See, Spider-Man is webbing, Doctor Doom's do you thing, like the, and then, um, Beetle is up here, do you like facing, the rap? Uh, um, Nova, or Nova's kind of facing Beetle. To put it. There's a little aerial thing. Do you like the Inferno There's rap? this trap door feature, which... And actually, there's a guy on the balcony, too, which is, pretty, which is nice. And, yeah, there's some nice doors with the little pee person walking in. And this big like TV twist? design definitely looks really cool, just from a distance. And, like, and, like, and the legacy like, kind of cool. Actually, in front of that is, I don't know if I actually reviewed it. I've done, like, a lot, for the longest time, what happens is I did re just reviews and didn't upload them. So I didn't have a channel for quite a long time. And... Yeah, so I, but I think I, I think I did make an actual video of on YouTube of using, or I did release it at one point. But yeah, so you can see there's just people walking in front of it, and then but yeah. you can see there's there's very nice little set, there's a little eatery on top and a little sign. Which actually from the bridge, most of the signs for Lego City, like the brick mart sign and okay, stuff like that, can actually be seen from the bridge, which is something cool. I'm yes. sweaty. I got and yes, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Then there's the cut bank, which is a cut. No, 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 brick, brickzilla, brickzilla strike. Not brickzilla, but catzilla. No. Oh, okay, sorry, my cat just sort of jumped, jumped on my couch from the couch and just started walking through Lego City and like an epic rampage of catzilla. But yeah, then there's the brick. What is this front, yeah, big front section? Is the front section is supposed to be is based on the um, two something from yeah, Two Face so Chase or something, really and the kind of a crude recreation. They called it Rainbow Bank. Yeah. And yeah, I think I don't think I actually did a separate video on this at any point. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, and you see the windows, and, like, cool, cool. and yeah, you can kind of see inside right here, just like vaults and stuff. People. And I actually extended it. So originally it was just the front of front section, but then I extended it to add a vault. And there's actually, you see, right there is a person um, trying to steal some money from the vault. Hoping the cops or guards do not see him. And this window is supposed to be from the, in the David Bugle set, but I decided to just put it there. Yeah, then there's actually this set, which is the beach house. It's kind of dusty, I think, a little bit. And there's a nice little beach, or not beach, but a nice little pool. And then there's the kid skateboarding which came in the set. And he's kind of skateboarding. And there's a rooftop area, a little bird that should come in the set, but and firework. And then we have, there's a little street in between, but then there's where a person's driving. But yeah, then there's one of the oldest, like this, the Red Roof House. That, what you're going to get into. And... Like the park design have been in Lego City since like the since, well, it was literally just this table at one point since it's been there since then. And this is the really dusty thing. But yeah, you can see 
the tad started trimming the hedges and then someone with their baby. And actually on top, and there's the people walking around, the people driving and stuff. But yeah, on top, there are people who are scouting out the bank. They're looking at it and seeing. And actually checking if the person who's stealing money in there before is actually, gonna, is actually coming out and not being arrested. Yeah, then behind the bank is actually the football stadium, which is not a Lego thing. It's actually a Moyo. But it looks pretty good in Lego City. I don't think I reviewed this ever. I might have reviewed the locker room. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, then there's the pizza van, which is one of my cool, the, my favorite LEGO City sets. It's just really cool. And this has been LEGO City for quite a while. I actually got this the same Christmas. Fun fact, I actually got the same Christmas I got the, my favorite LEGO set ever, the Ridge, the 2010 Hogwarts. And just moving this out of the way, I guess, there's the my custom movie theater, which was a kind of made... Basically, so this poly bag, I did review that, but this poly bag could be happy somewhere. There's people queuing up to walk in there. And at least Mysterio, Master of Magnetism or whatever, Mysterio-isms, is being up on top of Rainbow Theater. And, yeah, there's a person driving in there. And, and then there's the Monster Truck Show, which is Crusha. Cr I think you probably, I think I did the review this too. Crusha, and he's... Lying in those people watching, which I know they probably shouldn't be the clothes and stuff, but it's Lego, so yeah. But yeah, and then there's a little lab where they're trying to race to say to not to save the um stuff that's not existent at the moment, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, then actually moving down to so a long time. This was for not long because so hey, a long time. Actually, this was hey, it was, it was just this table and like yeah, not even the table's not even here anymore, but like. There was a, not the mat, that's the kitchen table, what, there was some, and some other table, there, there was another table, like, very similar to the kitchen table, actually, that was kind of, like, very, even know what you wanted. that was kind of, that was actually where I kept my Lego, until I, I had these dividers, but, until I got, until I got these dividers, or, I got these dividers at, um, like, Goodwill, which is why there, ah, that was a good save. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, but then it was this table that I got for Christmas, just I think, and I didn't know yeah, and that, but that, but then I added this cart table. And for the longest time, when I used the other table, this table was slightly t taller than this table, so it was a kind of like weird plateau. And now it's kind of that again, I guess, but kind of different or something, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, you can see downtown is pretty cool too. There's actually a big blank space for whatever I want to put there. Like it was like that on the city center set, which might be a birthday thing that I might ask for my birthday. Because the top bomb at Christmas list is already occupied by the Harry Potter. That's yeah, there's actually some, there's pretty noteworthy things here. So there's the campground. You can see there's the Mia Treehouse set. And someone who has thinks they've seen some Sasquatch, but it's not. It's um Chewbacca. And then there's some people camping, and then a kid biking, and then the president of business golfing, and someone ziplining. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And there's a street going in between Emmett's house and the campground. And there's actually one of the wanna, like, speeders. You fight with him again? Zipping through. And yeah, then there's the this thing, which is the um, Emmett's house, Emmett's dream house. And this is a really cool set to put, like, and exactly the little workshop area, where the Emmett from this set is actually, and this, some, something that I wanted to ask from the viewers, is that, so this review of this, it has, like, 55 views or something, and that's kind of, that's kind of a lot for a channel that's only, has like, very small, like this, and, like, what, why did this set, this set in particular, I got 55 views, just a question, leave the answer in the comment section below, if you want to. Yeah, and there's a mysterious portal. Ooh. And you see the spacemen are are, are are trying to observing it to see what it is. And yeah, then there's the movie studio. Which is pretty cool, pretty cool. It has a nice little feature where the director is sitting up there. And yeah, there's actually a place for Rex's Velociraptor to hang out. Which is basically just using, making use of this small poly bag. Which I would review, but I actually lost the, Velocir the baby Velociraptor. Yeah, that's a pretty cool poly bag. 
And the final Can thing that would tell us. Is this little thing? I know. There's stuff email. up here. There's like stuff up here. Yeah, then there's the people rafting. I'm going to go rafting. And go down the river. You can see it goes under the bridge and there's people rafting. And this actually leads to the beach, which is the kind of the big, kind of the main attraction, main reason the many figures go downtown so they can go to the beach. And you can see there's the burger bar. It's kind of one of the big reasons I put this beach here. And you can see some people are queuing up to buy some burger. Which is pretty nice. I like burger. I like food. And yeah, there's a nice little motorcycle. The, uh, motorcycle. There's, I there's get this to you, but I need a fire, fire people. Just some driving down. And yeah, then there's some people sunbathing. See the Teen Titans are out. At the beach and um, Cyber's so frustrated that he can't go in the water. Um, this guy's just relaxing. This guy's sur um, Batman surfboarding. Um, Batgirl's gonna be surfboarding. Um, this um, this guy's fishing. Um, Action Jackson from Action Jackson Top Motion and this guy and this lady are which I'm gonna change the expression because let me just change it. There we go. But yeah, then there's a nice couple just um swimming. And yeah, someone fishing as well. As I already pointed out. But yeah, and then there's Rex and Rex Rex if you will. But yeah. So yeah, this is uh, Lego City Tours. Probably gonna I'm probably like I'm I only do Lego City Tours if it's like something where a lot of it's changed or I just haven't done one in a while. And this is kind of both those things where some things have changed, like Adding stuff to the more stuff to this area and adding stuff to this area and stuff, and yeah, Are you but yeah. So, right so seriously? in the next like couple of, and I'm actually gonna make a playlist of all my city tours, just so you have, just you can watch those and binge watch them, I guess, or something if you want to. But anyway, that's the video, and we'll see you later. Bye.